Oh yeah. Wouldn't we be lost without morals? I would be lost. You know, the, for me, the uh, defile is the clothes are just a part of the whole thing. And um, if I could just for a few minutes make the audience forget about their problems or their worries or their daily life or the next show they have to go to, they just embrace the music or embrace the silence that's there. I love the play with the seduction, I love the play with desire. You know, it's all about this little piece of the neck that you will see that will make you desire to touch this person or, or just the gesture or the movement of the fabric can be very essential. I wanted to have this manly attitude but it was not a unisex collection, let's be very clear. It's, um, you exchange clothes but you don't exchange sexes. Yes. That makes a whole difference. Once you get the congratulations and your friends are around, half hour later the space is empty. So there's a kind of um, sudden loneliness crossing your way and you're just wondering like what happened? There's a violence to it which is kind of bizarre but at the same time it helps you to move to the next one. Well there's a feeling of unsatisfaction and there's a feeling of tiredness and relief that is done so you just are very impatient to start the next thing. You know what, I, I, I dream about my work, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely a dreamer and, um, and when I'm wandering the streets at night I make my defiles but you also want your dream to become a reality. So I think that every design is very observative of what's happening. But then one needs to know also the subject, what you're talking about, if you want to send out messages. Do I have something to say? I, am I legitimate to be here, to stand here in front of all of you and to show my work? But just that questioning already is a drive. And it's um, those anxieties also what's leading you to get better to improve and to force yourself to do a step further. You know, you want to stand straight in life. You want her to have this kind of dignity and nobility to, to stand straight and, and clothes do help that. I, I, with myself, when I wear a suit sometimes from a designer, suddenly I feel like, okay, I have to stand straight. And that reinforces everything, so. I was surrounded by women. Uh, draped in meats of fabrics because whether you live in, in Ethiopia or whether in Algeria in Ethiopia you have a woman like, which were wearing bubur, you know which go which rapes around the body so I was always about movement of fabrics not knowing what fashion was not knowing even the word and trying to understand the mystery of what was underneath those meats of fabric who was that woman and um, and I thought that doing fashion would make me closer to women or understand them more. Which I don't. <laughs> but that's also the beauty about it. The exchange between a man and woman is very interesting. And when you put also a man's jacket on a woman, you feel her fragility and you feel her strength as well. So it's all about changing feelings and lives. And that exchange is interesting. That's why mixing a man and woman in a defile has something very seductive because it questions a lot. Mm. It questions life, it questions feelings. There's so many emotions involved in it. And the intimacy is where well nowadays, you know, we live in, in, in a world where you can throw away things in five minutes. And due to social media, all the images that you, they're passing in front of you, and so many that you forget easily. So to hold on to things and to, there's a very, beautiful romantic aspect about it. For me it's more like you, you, I wrote years ago the first passage of a book and I'm just continuing to write every paragraph and every passage until one day that book might be finished and I hope that every, every page you turn it's wanting you to be curious for the next one. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's just about writing this little diary.